if you are a nurse like me and you have been nursing for quite some time, you're probably at a point where you are tired and burned out from working long hours, 12, 16 hour shifts. You may just be burnt out from working double shifts and night shift and having to, you know, sacrifice your all your time and weekends, um, you know, working. A part of you may feel like, yeah, I do enjoy certain aspects of nursing, but I would love to know about another way that I can get this money without having to pick up another shift. So if you're thinking along those lines, you're definitely on the right video. Stay tuned in because we're going to talk about five steps that you can take that will get you that much closer so you can retire bedside nursing comfortably. Hey, friends. My name is Stacey Bogle, and welcome to our channel, Nurse to Entrepreneur Network. If this is your first time here, what's up? Thank you for stopping by. Make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you can get um, and, and put your notification bell on so you can get our um, Elevate Your Thought little video shorts and all of the content that we have um, coming out of our channel. You'll definitely want to stay, um, keep up with that to help you as you're on your journey from nurse to entrepreneur. So just a little bit about me, if this is your first time um, watching one of our videos. Um, my name is, again, Stacey Bogle. I am a nurse and manifestation coach. I work with uh, well, I work with fellow nurses to learn new skills and the mindset you'll need to retire bedside nursing comfortably. We recently launched a free um, community group exclusively for nurses and friends of nurses and friends of nursing. Um, our community is for nurses who want to be, do, and have more. We'll be focusing on new skills and mindset you'll need to create a life you love living. The vision for our community is fun, friendly and engaging. You are invited to join us. You'd be surprised how quickly the universe move, moves once you decide that you want more for yourself. It's going to be great. So to join our community, um, simply check out the link below and answer the three membership poll questions, and I will see you in the group. So, Today, we're talking about retiring bedside nursing comfortably. So we're going to talk about five steps, okay, that can get you that much closer to living a life that you'll, or creating a life that you'll love living and coming up off of that med card, okay? And if you're a nurse like me who's been doing this for a while, I've been nursing, I've been an LPN, for um, since 2007. So this has been quite some time. I actually, my, my first, um, I first got into nursing um, back in 1997. I started as a, um, I basically fell into nursing. There was an ad, I was right out of high school and there was an ad that said, um, no experience necessary for a home health aide. And I got in like that and I've been working my way up since then. Um, I became an LPN, like I said, in 2007, and I've just been working it um, from then to now. Nursing homes, I work, I've always worked agency um, because I do like the flexibility with agency. But if you're an agency nurse as well, you also know the drawback to that is that you never know what you're walking into and there's always a cancellation, okay? We get our little bit of freedom, but that freedom comes with a price. So, um, you know, in my, in my pursuit of thinking, you know, I love certain aspects of nursing and I do enjoy being able to help my patients. 
I also knew that there was a part of me that desired something more. And there's a part of me that, you know, really has, um, uh, I, I want to, you know, have a dream within me to be doing have more. And as I talk to other nurses over these years, we're all, a lot of us are sharing that same desire, you know, to dream, to be, do, and have more. So if you're on that journey, let's talk about some of the steps that you're going to need to take to get you um, to where you want to be. Okay. So the first step is really just making a decision. You want to get clear on what you want and why you want it. Okay. Slides are kind of cutting up, but it's all good. We'll take it from here. So, okay. So you want to be clear on what you want and why you want it. Okay. You want to make the decision. The first step when you're on your journey from nurse to entrepreneur Okay. So the first step, like I said, you want to make a decision. Okay. So we want to decide that this is what we want. Where we're on our jobs. We're at, we've gotten to the point where we're like, you know what? This was cool. I've done this for a while. I know that there's more out here for me in my life. And now I'm making a decision to pursue more for myself. So we want to get clear on what we want. We want to decide, we want to figure out why do we want it? Why do we want to be able to retire bedside nursing comfortably? Is it because we want more time? Now, obviously, it's going to be for the money, but it has to be for more than the money. Okay. So is it that we want more time? Is it that we want more time for ourselves? More time to spend with our family, with our kids, perhaps our grandkids. More time to be able to basically enjoy life, you know, because a lot of times as nurses, nursing is a hustle and we're treating it as a hustle. And in that hustle, basically all you're doing is working. Okay. I know for me in my own personal experience over these last 20 years and working with fellow nurses, all we do is work. It's doubled. It's it's back to back. It's it's eleven to seven. It's seven to three. It's working the weekends. It's working holiday. Um, working those holidays. You know, just chasing a bag and constantly hustling. Especially when you're agency. You know, there's no time off. There's no paid time off for the most part. You know, so if you don't work, you don't eat. So you're constantly just you know on your grind and you're working and you're hustling. You know, and in the beginning that's cool. You know, when you're in your twenties and your thirties. Um, and you're just working like that and you're just hustling and you're grinding and you're trying to get this bag. That's cool. But at a certain point in time, you have to, um, in the end time, it starts to wear on you and you start to think to yourself, you know what, this has to, there has to be a better way. There has to be an easier way for me to get this money. So these are some of the reasons why, you know, these are some of the reasons why we decide that, you know what? We're ready to do something else. Let's figure out a way that we can get this money that's going to be a little bit easier than what I'm currently doing now. And it's going to be a smarter way for me to get um, for me to get this money. OK, because being on these carts uh, with these heavy med passes is not it. OK, so then you want to think about in your decision, how will life be better when you get it? So you're asking yourself three questions. When you're deciding, once you've decided this is what you want, you want to get clear on what you want, why you want it, and how will your life be better when you get it? Okay. So now once you've made your decision that this is what you want, now you're going to think about, you need to decide 
What are you willing to sacrifice to get it? And on your journey from nurse to entrepreneur and in the desire to retire comfortably from bedside nursing, there's going to be sacrifices on this journey, okay? And you have to decide, along with your decisions, you have to figure out for yourself, what are you willing to sacrifice to get it? How big is this, going to, is this dream going to be for you? How badly do you want to take your life to the next level? And what are you willing to sacrifice to get it? Which means you may have to adjust your work schedule. Okay. I know now, like for me, um, I still work part-time, full-time, part-time um, with my nursing job while I'm pursuit of um you know, doing my ventures from home, working from home as well, and building my um, at-home business, my coaching business, and some of the things that I'm doing, you know, so I've adjusted, the point is I've adjusted my schedule, and I have to do that, because we put so much time, there's no way in the beginning, especially when you're launching your business, and you're starting this new venture, it's going to take time, okay, and we're putting so much time into building somebody else's stream, we're going to have to be selfish at this point and figure out, okay, how much time am I going to um, take for myself to build my dream, to launch my dream, to focus on my vision, okay? So that may just be that, you know what, um, instead of working five nights a week, I may just have to bust one or two doubles during the week or on the weekend, and then I'll have three, four days during the week that I can just focus, not going to school, but I can focus on doing my business and, and being consistent with my business activity. Okay? We're going to have to put some time together to learn the new skills to make, to get the money. You know? Um, a focus, uh, one of the focuses of the uh, Nurse to Entrepreneur Network is, and as um, your coach, our focus is to learn new skills and to develop our entrepreneur mindset, okay? Um, because for many of us, we're used to working a job, okay? And a job mentality where someone is paying you and an entrepreneur business mindset mentality is going to be two different things, okay? Because when we're working for a job and someone is paying us, they're dictating our actions and they're giving us um, the, 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 the course, the activities have already been set for us. We don't do a whole lot of thinking. We just show up, pass our meds, do a little documentation. And, you know, um, uh, at the end of the shift, we're, you know, we're getting paid with, you know, doing, um, when we're venturing out and we're doing our own, um, our own venture, we're creating our own income. Now, you know, we're more in charge of the activity and, you know, we're focusing on now we're becoming self-disciplined. Okay. And no one, no one is hovering over us. No one's checking on us. There's no unit manager or supervisor. You know, we're in control of our own task. So we're going to be sacrificing. You have to kind of think, you know, figure out once we've decided that this is what we want, we really need to be clear on what we're going to sacrifice to get it. So now once we, you know, you take us some time and you figure out, okay, this is what I'm really willing to um, do to pursue my dreams. Now, the next step is going to be investing resources, okay? And this is not a job, okay? With the job, you get paid. Someone else invested in, build, in building the business that you're coming to work for them. So now when you're launching your own business now, the beauty of a, you know, a home business is it's resources and it does, there is an investment, but it's not as much of an investment as like, if you're going to do like a traditional business, like a big, like, a, like if you were going to do like a McDonald's or something like that, or do that type of franchise or, you know, um, a traditional business where you have so many other expenses, um, which are a lot more costly. The beauty of 
um, pursuing uh, at home venture and um, doing your launching a business from home is that it's affordable. It's a lot more affordable than, like I said, doing a traditional business. But you're definitely, it's definitely an investment. So you're going to need some uh, start capital to really launch your business successfully. You're going to want to um, be clear on what your monthly expenses are. You're going to want to make sure, and this is the beauty of why you still maintain your job and you adjust your schedule so you have income coming in that you can now invest into growing your business. Okay, so if we're going to still be working while we're pursuing our own dream, we can take the the, the our, our resources that we are earning as nurses and invest them into our own, invest them into our own um, business. And part of that investment is, you know, investing into our mindset and into business and leadership training and developing those new skills. Definitely that next step is you want to get around supportive, like-minded people, people who are successful in business, people who you can see who um, started from um, similar beginnings like you, you know, they had jobs, they were, you know, they had jobs, they had other careers. And they decided for themselves as well that they wanted to go ahead and pursue their own venture. So you want to be able to see them and being successful in business. They've already done and they're already at a place where you're trying to be. You want to get yourself around, you know, the key to um, becoming a successful entre nurse to entrepreneur is definitely being around positive people, being around an environment that is teamwork oriented, where everybody is, you know, cheering for each other, sharing tips and support, and, you know, getting around people who just really want to see you win, you know, who don't harbor negative, a negative mentality and, you know, um, they're, they're open, they want to see you win, and they want you to be successful. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. And though that's the environment, really, that's going to allow you to um, fully achieve the goals that you that you um, set out, for, that you set out for. As you, you know, with your goal to retire from bedside nursing, you know, environment is going to be very important in the people that you're around, because now as you start to pursue these new ventures, your current um your current circle of people that you're around, family, friends, coworkers, they might not see the vision the way that you do. You know, they might not have the mindset that you have. So it's going to be very important for you to surround yourself um, around people who are a little bit further than you are, who are pursuing the same dreams that you are. So um, they can help support you and help you to work through when those doubts and paradigms and um, you start to, you know, have those moments where you second guess yourself. So now part of uh, once you get yourself in that environment, you decided what you want, um, you know, you're you're clear on why you want it. You've gotten your money together. You, you found a good positive environment to put yourself in. Now you want to believe that what you want is yours. You're going to want to find the frequency of what you want, okay? Because what you want is here and currently you're down here. So you want to raise your vibration and raise your frequency so you can match the thing that you want. You can match the level of success that you want. That you, want. you can... <clears throat> start to match the income that is going to allow you to, to transition out of nursing and into being an entrepreneur or a nurse to entrepreneur full time. And in doing that, matching the frequency, a big part of that is feeling good. That's where that positive environment is going to come in because now you're around people who are positive, who have gone through some of the challenges and the obstacles that you may face, who have gone, you know, who who they've gone through it, they're on the other side of it, and they can support and encourage you and kind of just, you know, um, 
give you an example of, you know what, this is what, this is where I was. I was in the same situation or very similar to where you are. And I got out of it. And now I'm seeing the success for myself that I want. And this is going to be inspirational for you. So you really want to, and believing what you want is yours. You want to find the frequency of it and you want to feel good. And you want to do your best to feel good. Okay, because our emotions are going to dictate our actions. When we're feeling good, it's going to be easier for us to do the things, to take the actions that we need to do on a daily basis to achieve our goals. Okay, so in believing that what you want is yours, in that belief, it's going to empower you to get up every day and take action on your business, knowing that um, the, the success that you want, you will achieve. And then don't give up. That's the most important thing. Don't give up. Because depending on where you are on your journey, sometimes it's going to take you longer than some. Because you just, and that's not a bad thing, but it's just because you need to develop a little bit more. You need to sharpen your skill set. You may need to step into leadership a little bit more and just, you know, Work on, um, what is it that Bob says? Work on your self-image a little bit more. Develop your self-image a little bit more. And that's okay, but that's, and that's the growth. And you just want to hang in there long enough to grow to who you need to be so you can attract the things that you want to you. You can get on the frequency of what you want. Now the things that you, the success, the money, the being able to transition from nurse to entrepreneur is yours. You know, you're starting to be able to realize that. And sometimes it's going to take time, but it's okay because your belief is what's going to keep you in the game long enough for you to win. Okay. So the most important thing is do not give up. Once you decide that this is what you want, do not give up. Okay, because you'd be surprised, like I said, you'd be surprised how the universe opens up for you once you've made a decision that this is what you want. Okay. And I encourage you to, you know, stay strong, um, decide on what you want, make the decision on what you want, gain some clarity on what it is, figure out how you're going to pursue, you know, um, your, your dream, what's going to be the vehicle to get you there. And then, um, go ahead and then just start to believe, start to believe, put your trust in yourself and in your, in your, in your, um, in yourself and in your higher being, your higher self that, you know, what you deserve to have the things that you want. Okay. So, if you still need a little bit of clarity, you know, you're sure that you're ready to, you know, you have the desire, you want to retire bedside nursing comfortably, um, and you just maybe need a little bit of um, clarity on what can help you to make that dream, make your dream a reality, um, I encourage you to feel free to schedule a 10-minute discovery call with me today. We can discuss your goals and what you can do, what actions you can start to take now to make those goals happen. Okay. So I really hope you got a lot of value from our coaching today. If you're ready to create a life you love living, our manifestation coaching program will help you on your journey. Our vision with the manifestation program is to empower nurses with opportunity to create a life you'll love living. We'll work together these next 12 months on your personal development. Plus, you'll learn how to get money with a business from home. Our goal is to help you to learn new skills and the mindset you'll need to manifest what you want quickly. Feel free to schedule your 10-minute discovery call with me today to get started. So now during our call, uh, during our 10-minute quick discovery call, we'll talk more about you and your goals and steps you can achieve or steps you can take moving forward to achieve them. 
click below to schedule your discovery call with me later today or tomorrow.